Okay, so what I'd like to take a look at in this video is how to get your files unlocked if they accidentally get locked. Uh, so in this case, I actually recreated this issue. I logged in, uh, opened up my schematic, had it open for editing, and then uh, canceled my internet connection or closed it entirely. That way I didn't get a chance to shut down. And now, as you can see, uh, the schematic is locked, and it's locked by my username at quana.localdomain. And right now, uh, I'm on CPU 2-11, so I'm not on Quana anymore, I'm on CPU 2-11. And because of that, it's not going to let me go back and edit this file. So the reason for that is because Cadence actually puts a lock file on your schematics and layouts and states whenever you have them open. That way, uh, if you're in an organization who has multiple people all working on the same thing, you're not going to have conflicting edits or anything like that. So only one person can be editing at a time. Um, but the way that I like to get around this is simply finding the lock file that they place and removing it. And it also gets you a little bit more familiar with the file structure. So uh, just to review really quickly, this file that I'm looking at that I want to unlock is under the library ACEDA1, the cell ACEDA1 schematic, and then the schematic view. Now, if you remember, whenever you do file, new, and library, um, it asks you where you'd like to save the library up here at the top. So this is where my ACEDA1 library is saved. You can type in, you know, if this were AC test, you could put that there as well. Um, but you, this is going to tell you where that library is saved. So this is going to be important to know where to begin your search. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to take a look, uh, knowing this information, and I'll pop back to it. I'm going to take a look back at my MOBA X term window. So if I ls show what I have in the folder right now, I can see that I'm already in the folder that has my ACEDA1 library. So if we look back, this is my ACEDA1 library. So let's move into there. CD ACEDA1. Now if I look here, then I have some small files here, but then I also have this cell view or this cell here. So this is going to correspond to whatever is under this window here. So and if you're working on a single library, you know, for example, if you're working on a highly or a, a large scale integrated circuit, then you might have several different cells here, AND gates, OR gates, uh, op amps, digital logic, analog circuits, all sorts of different things. So the next step is going to be to move into this cell folder. So if I go back to MOBA X term, LS again, we can CD into that ACEDA1 schematic cell. If I LS again, we can see that there's two things and that is going to be corresponding to these two views. So every cell has schematic, or every cell has a schematic, multiple views. Uh, it could be schematic, layout, specter states, symbols, all sorts of different things. But we're concerned with the schematic. That's what we have the lock file under. And if we look at ls-a, all we have is the schematic and the specter state. So we need to go into schematic. And if we ls again, let's go ahead and just use ls-a. What we'll see is that there's these files here, this schematic.oa file, that's the actual schematic itself is stored in this file. But then we've also got this other stuff here. So we've got some of these different files here, but the one we're mainly concerned about is a schematic.oa.cds lock. So like I said, this schematic.oa.cds lock is what Cadence actually generates whenever you open the file for edit, just to keep other people out so that they know that someone else is editing. So if you get kicked out like this, what you can do is you can simply delete this file, right? Because you're not going to be able to um, get back to the same CPU that you were on or anything like that. So the best case is just going to be to remove this file. So if we do rm and then schematic.oa.cds.lck, that would work. Um, but sometimes it can actually have multiple lock files. So what I like to go ahead and do is just add a star at the end just to make sure that it gets rid of, for example, this stuff right here. So let's just go ahead and remove all of that. And then ls again, now I can see that we've only got our data master and our schematic file. Okay, so all this other junk that we didn't really need is gone. If we take a look back at our library manager window, now that lock is missing. So we can open this schematic up, we can view it, edit it. So what's really important is that whenever we're done to avoid having to do this situation before, you know, obviously that if your internet goes down, there's nothing you can really do about that. But if you are actually in this situation, if I say, okay, I'm done with Cadence for tonight, I don't just want to go to my MOBA Xterm window and press exit or X or go do anything like that. What I actually want to do is I want to make sure that I close everything uh, 
close everything before I actually close out Nova Xterm. So I can end the session gracefully. That way it can delete those lock files for me and I don't have to do anything. So if I'm working on this schematic, doing different things and I get done with it, obviously save it. And then you can just hit X. And whenever this actually closes out for you, it will get rid of that lock still. So that lock won't be there once you close it out. And all I have to do is close out my CIW window. Do you really wish to quit? Yes. Uh, and the reason you might want to do that too is because it will also generate lock files for your CIW window. So if we go back to our home cadence folder, uh, we can, or actually it's one folder up. So if we take a look here, we can see that we have this CDS log file. And whenever we open our CIW window, it actually generates a CDS lock file for this too. That way it doesn't have multiple, multiple people all working on the same thing. So everyone can have their own log. So this one is really short uh, just because I wanted to show you how to get rid of that lock file using the method that I prefer. Um, certainly there are other methods, but this is just the way that I prefer and it also gets you a little more familiar with the uh, file system for Cadence. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Other than that, thank you guys for watching.